Dr. JP, uh, who's that guy they call the dad of the country? The dad of the country? You mean the father of our country, the United States? The guy they call the father of our country? Yeah, who's that guy? They ha he's always on the dollar bill and the quarter and stuff. Oh, you're talking about George Washington, the first president of the United States. Yeah, but you see, I always just know that guy from his picture on the dollar, but I don't even know anything about him. What does he do? What is he? Is he still, is he alive? No, no, he lived a long time ago, Leo. Well, I'm just going to read you a little story here about George Washington so you, so you know who he is. Just take a, t oh, let me, let me, let me uh, bring the camera over here so everyone can hear. Uh, now this is just going to be a quick little story about George since you're very curious about who is this guy you keep seeing on the quarter and the dollar, George Washington. Uh, <sighs> okay, now, Leo, well, you see this flag? This is not the United States flag, because this is before the United States started. George Washington was born in Virginia in 1732, and at the time, Virginia was one of the 13 colonies, and these 13 colonies belonged to the country of England, and that's the English flag. Well, wait a minute, how, what, well, what about the United States? Hold on. Not, this is before the United States. Well, I thought this guy is a part of the United States. Shh, Leo, just pay attention. So George, he grew up on a farm. He loved to ride horses, and he loved to catch fish. And he had many brothers and sisters. And he looked up to his older brother, Lawrence, because Lawrence was a soldier, and he fought for the king. And George wanted to be a soldier one day, too. So really, he, his brother fought for the king, and George wanted to be a soldier fighting for the king too. And George, he did not go to school. He was taught at home, and he practiced his handwriting by copying rules of, a good, of good manners into, into a book here. And if you notice these pens, they didn't have regular pens back there, back then. So they would get these feathers, and they would dip them in ink, and then they would write. So, and they didn't have lights back then. They would have to do this by the fire, because if it was late in the night, you couldn't just turn the light on. So, now, when he was 16, George went to live with Lawrence. And Lawrence had this farm called Mount Vernon, and George, he liked it there, and he rode horses, he hunted foxes there, and he danced at parties, and he practiced his good manners, and he had never been happier. And there he is dancing at the parties. And at 17, he got this job, and he was measuring land with these important tools, and the land of America, it was still new. So people that need to know, where are the rivers? Where are the mountains? So George's job was to go out and find where all this stuff was and help measure so they could make the maps and show where mountains and lakes and rivers were. And George loved the land. Now, George grew into a tall, strong man. And in 1753, he became a soldier. He was a soldier for the United States? No. Leo, he was a soldier for the king. But I thought the United States has no king. Leo, li listen to the story. So here he is as a soldier. He's, he's working for the king of England. And at that time, England and France, they were fighting over America. Both of these countries, they wanted America to be... Uh, they wanted to own America because they wanted it for their land. And since America was a new land, uh, people were fighting for it. And George fought bravely for England. And in the end, England won. So the English won, and George was on the English side. And life as a soldier was very hard. 
and George was happy when it was time to go home. But he didn't go back home alone because he got married to Martha Custis. And in 1959, we see them getting married here. Married Martha. And Martha and her two children, they moved to Mount Vernon. And George, he spent the next 16 years just working as a farmer. So he was just a farmer, his kids. But then, in eight. 1775 George was called to war again this time he was gonna have to fight against England and he told Martha I have to go fight wait a minute Dr. JP uh, what happened he he was fighting he was an English soldier. Now, why do you tell me he's going to fight against the English soldiers? Yes, because the King of England... Uh, the King of England... Well, let me see if it tells about this. Yes. The 13 colonies of America, you see, they wanted to be free from the King of England. And the people asked George Washington, We want to be free. The King won't let us be free. He wants to boss us around, so we're going to have to go to war with him if we want to be free. And so they asked George, will you be the leader in our war against England? And George, he didn't think he was the right man for the job, but he knew he had to try because they did not want to have a king ruling them in this new land. They wanted to be free. England was a very strong country, and so the war went on for many years, and Georgia and his soldiers, they were often cold, tired, and hungry. But they kept fighting. They kept fighting. It was a very, very tough war, and they wouldn't give up. And George, as their leader, he kept telling them, we got to keep going, no matter how cold or sick or hurt or wounded we are we got to keep going if we're gonna be free and George as their leader the colonies won their freedom in 1783 and that's when they called themselves the United States of America you mean that's when the whole country started well when they won the war, you know, so they could become United States. And here is George Washington, because the Americans did not want to have a king. They had to vote for a person to lead the country, and the choice was easy. We're not having a king, we're going to have a president. And so the choice was easy. George Washington was going to become the first president of the United States of America. And they elected him April 30th, 1789. And here, he's swearing on the Bible that he's going to try to do a good job. I mean, that's how we got presidents? Because, yes, we didn't, we weren't going to have another king. And so George Washington, he was a peaceful man. He loved the land, but never really wanted to be a leader. And he served America both in war and in peace. But as our first president, that's why they call him the father of our country, because he was the first president. Oh. And uh, that's the uh, story of George and how uh, United States... Uh, kind of started and how George became first president.